friends, it's Elijah J Films, and welcome back to another Canva tutorial. I know it has been a minute, but you guys, I am back with another Canva video tutorial. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to create a custom slideshow within Canva. If you guys don't know, I am a video editor and I use Canva to edit slideshows for my clients. Um, whether that's graduation or personal, you are able to do that within Canva. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So you wanna make sure that you have Canva up. I am editing this on my computer and I also do have the pro plan. So make sure if you wanna try out the pro plan, I don't know if they still have the free trial, but if they don't, um, you can purchase it. I believe maybe 12 or $15 a month, but the pro plan will give you access to some features. So I may utilize that, but without the pro plan, you can still create this within Canva. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm already within Canva and to start my slideshow, we're gonna create it from scratch. We're gonna create a blank one. So you're gonna wanna come over here and choose video. Now, if you're gonna do a vertical one you can, but we're gonna do the horizontal, the 1920 by 1080. So we're gonna go ahead and click video. If you don't see that here, you can come over here to where it says videos as well, or you can go ahead and type it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and select video. And that's gonna be by our 1920 by 1080, which is gonna be the standard video size for slideshows or for whatever type of video content that you are creating. Now, depending on what type of slideshow that you're creating, you want to enable some type of slideshow um, title and maybe an ender for yours. Now for mine, I'm just gonna be creating a simple nature uh, slideshow for you guys as an example for you to learn. Now, if you wanna follow along, you can go to pexels.com or Unsplash and download their copyright free photos and follow along or you can just grab your personal photos. So whatever I'm teaching within this, you can incorporate this to any type of slideshow that you want to be create that you want to create, excuse me. I also will show you guys how to import your music as well if you would like it and how to export and save it as well. So we are within Canva, so let's go ahead and get started. Now first, depending on how many photos that you are going to be using is going to be dependent upon how many down here, how many pages that you're going to create. Now for mine, I believe I have 10 photos. So I'm gonna go ahead and do 12 pages because I'm going to have my photos, but I'm gonna have a title page and an end page. So for your slideshow, keep that in mind. If you're doing 50 photos, 10 photos, 20 photos, you wanna make sure that you have those extra pages for your title page and for your uh, end page or conclusion page, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and add a page here, so a page four. And then for this, now what you can do, if you wanna do it faster front of Mac, you can do command C and then do command V as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and create mine here. And I have 11, I'm gonna go ahead and do 12. So first, go ahead and set up your timeline. So down here is your timeline. This is where you wanna add your pages because on each one of these, this is where we're gonna import our photos. Now, like I said, the first thing that I'm gonna be doing is, be, is excuse me guys, I cannot talk, <laughs> is I'm going to create my title page. Now for this slideshow, again, I am doing a nature theme. So if you're doing a wedding, a graduation, a birthday, then make sure you keep that in mind for your theme and create it based upon that. So for this, I'm creating a nature slash animal theme slideshow. Now here we have our blank canvas here. Now if I just wanted to edit the background color here, I can just come over here to background color and I can just choose really any color that I want for my video. I can also come over here to add new color and I can go ahead and change it here. Now for this, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna choose like a very light green for this and I'm just gonna leave it here like that. Now, if you wanted to import your own photo for your background, you can do that. But for this, I'm just gonna do a solid light green color for my title page. And I think I did it on the 12th page. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it to the front. So if you want to, if you did it out of order, you can just select it and drag it all the way to the beginning. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and just add some text here, some very, very simple text. So to do that for our title page, we're gonna come over here to where it says text. And like I said, if you have the pro plan, you will be able to see the crown here. And that's a subscriber, you get to use those um, if you have it available. So if you don't, that's okay. So we're just gonna come over here to where it says heading. And make sure you name your slideshow. Um, you know, if it's a birthday party, you know, happy birthday to so-and-so, a wedding, whatever it is, just make sure that you name it. So I'm just going to do nature slide show. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and take it. And I'm going to center it here. Then I'm going to come back over here to my font. And I'm going to go ahead and choose some font here. Now, like I said, if you see the crown, that means that is on a pro plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose one. I actually like this one as a like my second try. But go ahead and go through your font here. And once you have created or have named the title for your slideshow, go ahead and choose the one that you want. So I have this here, but I feel like it needs a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a line under here. Now the quickest way that you can do that is hit L on your keyboard. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just bring this down here and kind of shorten it a little bit and then center it. Cool, we have that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a subheading under here. And I'm gonna put that right underneath Nature Slideshow. And then I'm gonna do by Amaya, and my last name, y'all get my government name, by Amaya Johnson. Now don't y'all be trying to do that information now but by Maya Johnson. And then I'm gonna go back up here to my font and I'm gonna do that, okay? So very cute, very simple. But I think I wanna add some elements around here to kind of make this pop out here. So I'm gonna come over here to elements and I'm just gonna type in nature. You know, if you're doing a birthday party, um, do balloons, do presents, do whatever it is that's gonna match the theme. I'm gonna come over here to where it says graphics. I'm gonna do see all. And I'm gonna just look and see what I wanna add. I do like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that and just kind of bring it down here. And I think I'm gonna make another one. So if you wanna copy it, you can just hit the two, uh, the two rectangles here, make a copy of it. And I'm gonna put it here, but I'm gonna flip it. So I'm gonna select this here come back to flip and we're gonna do horizontal and then come here. And then I think I wanna add like a bird of some sort. And I'm going to, I like this bird. Let's add this bird. And then we're just gonna let him or her right there and if you want to change the color, if you're able to change the colors of the elements, then the color palette will show up. If you're not able to, then that means you're not able to change it. It, it is how it basically comes. So I'm going to go ahead and just edit my bird here. And let's see, nothing too much. Actually, I'm cool with that. So I'll put her off there. And I feel like I need something else. I want to do an R for rectangle. And I'm just going to bring this up here slightly over the slideshow. And I'm going to kind of drag it like this. And I'm going to make this, let's see. There we go. That can kind of match the theme of our bird that we kind of have got going on. So you want to make sure that you create some type of title slideshow. This is very simple, but again, you can get really creative and fun with this, but this is going to be like a basic slideshow that we're creating. Now down here, it says five. So that means right now it's running for a total of five seconds. If I want to extend this out, I'm going to hover my mouse over the rectangle here over this page. And I can go ahead and slide it to the right here and kind of extend it out. And then now it's 7.5 seconds. 
Now I think this slideshow is cool, but I think I want to add some animation to it. So I'm going to come back here to animate here at the top. And if you hover over your mouse, you can kind of see some cool things that it's going to do. I would definitely recommend for your slideshow, you know, you want to get straight to the point. So don't try to choose something that's going to be a little bit too confusing um, like this. I wouldn't recommend doing something like that or or the neon, but something like the uh, stomp or the block would be just fine. So I'm going to do for this, I want to actually do the block because it's very simple. And if you want to individually animate the elements, you'll just want to select it and then come over to make sure element animations is turned on. And then you can see here, now that's just flickering on its own. And now we kind of have this kind of going on. So now we've kind of animated our slideshow and come back here and press play and now we have some animation going on okay so now let's go ahead and get into the theme of our actual slideshow now depending on how you do it you can do a couple of different ways you can keep the same color scheme or, or you can change it i'm going to just show you guys a couple of different ways to design your slideshow now for this we are going to animate our photos as well that's going to be the whole point of a slideshow or a video slideshow so you want to make sure that you upload your photos. So I'm going to come over here to where it says uploads. And this is where you can actually upload your content to Canva. So everything you're seeing here is, um, is for my clients that I work on. But if you want to upload your photos, you'll come over here to upload files. And you're going to upload your content. I'm going to go ahead and select my photos here. And I'm going to hit upload. And then what's going to happen is it's going to start uploading to Canva. And now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and choose our first photo. Now I am going to keep the color scheme kind of primarily the same. I'm going to go ahead and come back to my background color and it's already keeping track of what colors I'm using. So I'm gonna go ahead and just choose my light one here. Come back over to uploads and let's go ahead and choose our first photo. And I'm going to choose as our opener, this one, okay? So there are a couple of different ways that I do my slideshows. Now you can um, extend your photos out like this and make them big. Okay, and that's just like a very, very basic size show. You can also just kind of extend all the way out depending on the actual photo kind of like this. And then what you can do to actually animate the photo, we're gonna go ahead and extend this page just a little bit. You can come over here to animate and the ones that I like to use for slideshows is breathe and then I like the drift, okay? So let's just say you did, or the pan as well. Let's just say you did the breathe, okay? Now over here is dealing with the speed. So obviously as you can see, the closer we get, the faster, or if we move to our left, the slower, okay? So let's just say I'm gonna go ahead and animate that. So that way it gives me a nice slow animation. And you can have either your photo going in or out. So I would recommend for your slideshows, it's just kind of basically up to your preference. A lot of people are just gonna be focused on the photo and not the animated part, but this is what's gonna make it an actual slideshow. So I'm gonna just go ahead and choose in for my first one. And now if we go to the beginning, we have our title and then we have our first photo. We'll go ahead and go to the next page. I'm going to make it the same color. Now, what you could have done at the beginning, I didn't even think about this, is just create your standard your standard color and then just copy and paste. But I'm doing it manually, but that will be a, the, another fast way to do it. I'm going to go ahead and add my next photo. And we are going to do this photo here. So you can just select it. Now, there's a cool thing that I like to do with slideshows. I'm going to do command C, V two more times. 
Okay. And then we're going to select one of our photos. We're going to hit the three dots and we're going to go to layer and we're going to do send to back. Okay. For both of these photos. Send to the back. Okay. And what I like to do is I like to make the photos in the back smaller. So you're going to grab those photos in the back. You're going to grab the corners and you're just going to make it smaller like that and bring it slightly over behind the main photo. Just stay with me. Then I'm going to take the other one and kind of do the same thing. You could, again, just copy and paste. Yeah, so it's the same kind of size, but... For example, purposes, I'm going to show you guys this. Okay. And what you can do is do a cool drift effect with them. So you can select your first photo, go over to edit photo and go over to animate and you can do drift and then you can slow it down completely and you can change the direction of it as well. So we're going to have it going this way and then we're gonna do the same thing when you drift we're gonna have it going in like this and then for our main photo we'll come back over to our animation and we can do something like this okay so that is just another way that you can do your slideshow so we kind of have our breathe in we kind of have this effect here so you can have your two photos in the back and your main photo up here or you can have three of the same photos, okay? So we kind of play it here. We have our first photo and it kind of runs kind of long. And then we have our next one, okay? All right, let's go ahead and add our next uh, photos here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do the same thing. Come back over here to uploads and I'm gonna go ahead and add this next photo. Now, a cool thing that I like to utilize is a background remover. So if you have the pro plan, you can do this. So you can select your photo, come over to edit photo, come over to background remover. And if I wanted to edit more, I could, but I like to do this and mess with the transparency. So I'll do something like this. And I'm going to just really extend it out like that. Come back over to uploads. Add your photo again. Select the background. Hit animate. Do drift again, but make it super, super slow. And then I think it's cool like that, honestly, so I'm going to leave it. So now we have this cool animated effect as well. So now we kind of have, you know, a very cool slideshow kind of going on here. Let's go ahead and add our fourth photo. I'm gonna keep the same color. Hey, let's just change it up a little bit. So let's go ahead and make it orange. Come back over to our uploads and let's go ahead and add our bird. And then what I'm gonna do for this one is I'm gonna go over to my elements and I'm gonna type in clouds. And this is where you can really start getting creative with your slideshow. So I'm gonna go ahead and animate some things in here. So I'm gonna add some clouds here and kind of copy and paste it around here. I'm just thinking about if you're doing this for like a baby shower, a wedding, I mean, you can really type anything in here. And as you can see here, we cannot change the colors. The color palette did not come up, but I have this here and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit uh, animate. And I'm gonna do drift for each one. And again, I'm just selecting my element and I'm just literally choosing an animation, okay? And then for my main photo, I'm going to select it and I'm just going to do a nice breathe, but I want to do in. Okay. So now we have one, two, three, four photos in. Let's just go ahead and just do one more. 
I think you guys are kind of understanding how to do this. So we're gonna do one more and I really like this. This is pretty. I'm gonna select my background and I'm gonna go over to the photo colors and utilize some of the photo colors in here to change the background. So let's kind of go ahead with this. I think this is pretty. Now let's edit our photo a little bit. Let's go ahead and edit the photo, hit edit photo at the top. And let's go ahead and do shadows. Now let's just do an outline around it. Oh no, let's do a glow, let's do a glow. So you can do a glow setting around your photo and let's do color. Let's do uh, white. And we can change the intensity of it and also the size. Now don't do too much when you're doing this, create a good uh, balance within it. And then let's go over to animate and let's do a photo zoom. Okay, so if we go ahead and play our slideshow here, we have our first photo here. And then we're gonna go ahead and get into our second photo. Our third photo. Our fourth one and then our fifth one. And hey, if you want to add text, you could add text to your slideshow. You know, if there was like an important date, you can definitely put something in here. And you can select your text there, find that font that you were using, and really start to make it personal, uh, personal um, and personalize the actual slideshow uh, the way that you want it done. So add your text here and then you can come over here to elements and type in, I don't know, tree. That kind of looks like the tree. And then I can do something. I didn't tell you to move. Okay, and then take the tree and do something like this. I mean, you can really get really creative. Um, I'll do more of a, an advanced slideshow, but this is just to kind of give you guys the basics. So something like this. And there we have it, okay? So I think we are good here. Let's go ahead and do our end page. And we're just gonna come over here to uh, our nature slideshow. We're just gonna create a, we're gonna go ahead and come over here and just do duplicate page and we're gonna just drag it to the end. And we're just gonna do the end. Okay. Kind of like a show's over, okay. And if you want to do this in between, and like I said, you can add more to this, this is just a basic. Now, if you want to add transitions in between, you can. You're gonna wanna click basically in between. Whoops, we don't want another page. Kind of in between here. And if you kind of hover, you'll see add transition. And this is where you can add transitions in between your clips, okay? So let's just do a match and move. Let's come over here and add another transition. Let's do a flow, then let's come over here and let's do a stack. And for the end, we'll hover to transition and let's just do a circle wipe, okay? Cool, so now that we have done that, let's go ahead and just add music. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete these extra pages, so just go ahead and hit delete on your keyboard or you can hit the three dots and hit delete page or hide page. So we kind of have our basic slideshow that's been completed. And now if you wanna add music, you can come over here to uploads and you can go to audio and upload it. You can also go to YouTube audio library. Uh, it has free royalty music. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how that looks and where to find music.
Okay, so if you go to YouTube, if you go to Google and type in YouTube Audio Library, this is where you can get copyright free music. And you can just choose Audio Library Free Music, um, Audio um, Library Music for Content Creators. And they usually have an entire catalog that you can utilize. That's actually not the one that I want. So let me actually sign in here real quick. And here we go. Okay, so you want to sign in and then you want to choose that option. And then we have a variety of different music. So I'm going to just go ahead and play through here. So once you have downloaded your audio, just like I showed you guys how to do your image and videos, it's the same thing. You just want to go ahead and do upload files and upload the audio. So I have my music here. I'm going to go ahead and drag the audio track literally to the timeline. And I want it to start at the very beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and just drop it here. And then now I have my audio here that has now been adjusted. Now, if you right click on the audio, this is where you can adjust some things. So I can go ahead and do audio effects and come over here to where it says fade in and fade in the music. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way to the end and I'm gonna do a fade out. Okay, very simple. You don't have to add music, but you can. Go ahead and select it again and you can go down to volume and you can change how loud it is. Let's just keep it at about 32. And if we play it, now we have it, okay? So I'm not gonna play through the whole thing, but I have my music that's now been added. Now to actually download your slideshow, you're gonna come over here to where it says share, and you're going to hit download, and you wanna make sure that all pages are selected. So I know we're gonna do 10, but I just did seven as, um, as an example. So we're gonna do all pages, make sure they're all selected, all the ones that you wanna use, hit done, and we're gonna go ahead and download our slideshow. Let's go ahead and watch the final slideshow. guys and that is how you can create a basic custom slideshow within canva i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i will see you guys next time